Hello, this is Texas PK, and welcome to another installment of Noobstone, where we take a simplified look at how redstone components work in order to us not only easier to build, but understand different redstone contraptions. Today we're going to be taking a look at the simple knot gate. This is one of the most commonly used circuits in all of Minecraft, and it's important to understand in order to use in more complicated circuits. So let's get started, and I'll show you exactly how it works. Before we take a look at any other redstone logic circuits in Minecraft, let's first define what we mean by some different terms. In any logic circuit that you have, you're going to have an input, a transmission line, and an output. Now these inputs can be any source. They can be as simple as a lever or a button, uh, pressure plates, or any other combination of redstone components, or even more advanced combinations of these devices to create an input circuit. The important thing is that it produces a redstone signal that is able to be transmitted through some redstone dust into an output circuit. An output circuit can be as simple as a redstone lamp, pistons, or any other more advanced redstone circuit. As a basis of comparison for our logic circuits, a standard transmission line has the same output as the input, meaning that when the input is powered, the output is also powered. And when the input is unpowered, the output is also unpowered. Which brings us to our first logic circuit, the NOT gate. Now when we use the word gate, it's basically just describing a circuit that processes an input signal and produces a logical output depending upon the operation you perform on it. Now the cool thing about Minecraft Redstone is that it simulates the same logic circuits that are used in computers and other electronic devices. Now to help understand the logic operation that is performed in a NOT gate, we'll take a look at this table. As you can tell, whenever the input signal is on, the output signal is off. And conversely, when the input signal is off, the output signal is on. Or you might put in other words, the NOT gate inverts the signal of the input. Now this is a very simple circuit to build and the way we accomplish this is by taking an input signal and inverting it using a redstone torch. The way you do that is you place the redstone torch off a block from the input signal and then connect it to our output with a redstone dust. As you can see that when this lever is in the off position the output is powered. And when the input is then turned on, the output is then turned off. And the way this mechanically works is that when this lever is in the on position, it powers this block, which deactivates this torch, toggling it to the off position and removing the signal to the output. And when it is off, this block is no longer powered, so the redstone torch returns to its native state of being on, which powers the output. Now the NOT gate is the simplest logic circuit. But that being said, it's also probably one of the most commonly used one in all of the redstone contraptions and circuits that you will build. For the simple reason that any time you need to invert a signal, you're using a NOT gate. Let me give you a couple examples of how they're used. Now the first example of a knot gate that I'd like to share with you is in this nice little house. As you can see we have a light in the ceiling which is controlled by this lever on the wall. Now in the real world on off switches the on position is up. But in Minecraft the up position is off for levers. But if we want to have it be the same as in the real world we need to invert the signal so that when it's in the upward position the light is on and when it is in the downward position the light is off. And this is accomplished through the use of a knot gate. Let me show you what I mean. If we come around the back side of our house, we can see that where the lever is, there is a redstone torch, which uh, then powers this block, which powers this redstone signal to the lamp. And when the switch is then powered, it deactivates the light. As a matter of fact, we can add in a little lamp here just to demonstrate that. The block is powered the light is off. When the block is unpowered, the light is on. 
Now this is a very basic use of a NOT gate, but one that you might use a little more common would be in a sorting system. As you can see, the simple impulse sorter uses a NOT gate. You might not have noticed it at first, but it's right there. Whenever the comparator detects a signal from the hopper, it sends a power signal down to here, which in turn powers this block and will deactivate this torch, inverting the signal. Let me demonstrate that real quick so you can see exactly what we're talking about. When there's a signal strength strong enough to reach this block, it inverts the signal using a NOT gate with the redstone torch. And once the number of items in the hopper decreases enough for the signal strength to no longer reach this repeater, this block is no longer powered, and the NOT gate is then turned into the ON position. So an OFF input becomes an ON output, and thereby locking this hopper. And that is the basic redstone NOT gate. It's one of the most commonly used ones, and it's really important to understand to help you understand other more complicated redstone circuits. And with that, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and it helps you out, and you can put it to use somewhere in your world. We do plan on going into many of the other logic circuits that are a little more advanced, so I hope that you check those out as well. If it does help you, I'd appreciate it if you let us know in the comment section down below, and I hope to see you again in the next one. But until then, this is Texas PK. Be good to each other. Bye!